hello everyone and welcome to the channel so today we are going to uh, show you how you can add playstation 3 controller to your robot or to control any of your arduino based projects so this is six axis pair tool i'll give its link in description and you can download it so first of all open this software now what we have to do is to connect our ps3 controller now as soon as we uh, plug in our controller which is this one dual shock 3 we can see that it's showing our current motor master address right here so uh, this is basically a bluetooth mac address which is saved into this controller and now we have to get the uh, mac address of new device to which we have uh, we want to pair this controller for that we can use uh, arduino sketch so uh, this is basically the code for getting the mac address of your uh, esp32 based controller i'm going to use esp32 to control my uh, basically robot this code is, i'm making this controller for my robot so plug in your esp32 and open the sketch now uh, first of all you have to download this library uh, which is ps3 controller dot h uh, if you don't have this library then this code will not work because uh, there is no source code on the back end i am using uh, esp32 cam version so select the board from list eitinker cam and then select your port port is com port 7 now hit upload now it's compiling the code so now the code is being uploaded And done uploading now what you have to do is uh, as you know in uh, my previous video I made this uh, plug for ESP32 cam to program it now we have to remove this jumper to get access to serial monitor so plug in this again remove the connector and connect your board to your PC again now go to serial monitor and select board as we have to reset this once again to get the message just click the reset button on your ESP32 and this is the MAC address that I am going to put into the controller of uh, PS3 now after putting your MAC address hit update and the current master is updated in this controller now uh, we have to disconnect this uh, controller from our laptop and put a piece of code into our ESP32 to test the controller 
now this is basically the code for uh, my robot right now I don't have uh, any hardware connected to the board so we're going to just uh, put this code into our ESP32 and uh, look at the serial monitor to get this message that our controller is connected or not so let's just uh, 47 and, and hit upload Now it's uploading the code and after upload we have to repeat the same process remove the jumper from the board to get access to serial monitor and then we'll see how it reacts to this code remove the connector and just remove this jumper put it back in and go to serial monitor now it says ready because our controller is not connected and as you can see now this is connected now if I put my cable back in it will go back to ready state whenever 